trouble. Is Oki taking a lot of damage? Woosa looked like she just took nine turns there. I know Woosa's a he, but it looks like a she to me. Oh, the Ciara misses the bomb on the Lima. Oh, but Gany managing to cut gets the reset on the Lima. That was the whole match right there, guys, as we get another reset into the Gany. Ciara just rocking turn after turn after turn after turn after turn as she turn ones the Diana to death, and Debrack realizes that he can't keep up with the procs in the turn cycling. And hey, it is Zenial Gamer, and today we're going to be doing some RTA bloopers. No, commentary. Well, sort of bloopers. The bloopers will be on me. The commentary will be on the actual skilled players. So guys, the idea here is we're just going to look at some random fights. We're going to try and take in some G3 fights. Might look at a couple of my fights as well. And I am going to try to commentate this in real time. And Compote opening up with the Bastet showing Cleave. Hero MVP showing he may contest speed, but dropping the car now just in case. Compote is running the tower. Aplo Jemire and also rocking the Triton for the 33 uh, against the 33 speed lead of Hero MVP's V Sama. So, Compote getting outsped by Hero MVP, cutting though with the Ryu, Tableau taking away all the attack bars, Jemire giving the reset, Jemire doing some big AoE damage, Tableau taking away the attack bars again, Bastet defense breaks everything, Ryu kills everything, that is the game. Hero MVP is just waiting to be cleaned up on now as Compote takes the win. Guys, that's what we're gonna be doing for today's video. Wish me luck because that is not easy to keep up with. A lot of these fights, especially at the G3 range, G2 range, they're gonna be using very meta teams that you guys have probably seen on Twitch streams and so forth. So for today, we're just gonna be doing our best to have some fun with the drafts. All right, so we have got Thunderbolt versus somebody who I did not see. Thunderbolt versus a Odari. Thunderbolt opening up with the meta Molong, getting countered by Wusagani, dropping the non-meta Pater with the Molly, gets countered with the recently nerfed Mana, as well as the Gany Hathor and the Dark Oni. I forget his name, even though I should know it. So, a Ordinary going first does not get the bird proc. However, the bird does proc after the AoE from the Nana. I think actually that was a single target by Wusa. Bird now starting to turn cycle. Fang, uh, Fang, uh, Mo Long going to get the snipe. Chooses not to get the snipe. Goes for a defense break instead. That's gonna be some big damage on the Oni as his passive allows him to come out of stun and do more damage. We have now got full immunity up from the Wusa. Bird's gonna die. The uh, Icarus does not really do anything whatsoever to the Dark Oni as. Thunderbolt loses. So guys, I don't really know why Fang didn't, uh, why Fang, why Mo Long didn't snipe the Dark Oni. Told you there's gonna be a lot of bloopers, guys. Leave some comments in the comment section because it'd be weird if you left them somewhere else. Tell me what you guys think about this style and if you like just watching me screw up the name of every monster in the game. Of course, for you long time subscribers, you know that's what I do, so it's nothing new. All right, next up, we've got Shiro Moon against Cranky. Okay, this is a G1 fight, guys, but they're actually both fairly high G1. I think the range for G2 right now is just about 1930. So Shiro Moon opening up with the super meta Chung, getting countered with the Wusa Carnell. Carnell stealing from the Chung combination. Shiro Moon coming back with the Light Monkey and the Hay Gang, finishing up with Poseidon and Ganymede. Cranky has a Juno on the field as well as an Abelio. Really good anti-control team against a really good control team. Wusa almost kills the Poseidon with that turn one. Poseidon, however, takes all the attack bars away. Light Monkey doing what he does, controlling the whole team. Gany gets the reset. Light Monkey takes away some more attack bar. The Abelio does cut. There's that Abelio buff coming to play, guys. Gets out of the stun, cuts and heals everything, but does get put back to sleep. We're still working on this Diana over here, but she is only stunned for one turn. She could have propped out, but she did not. Poseidon with one HP does do a little bit more damage to that Diana. We've got a reset on the Wusa. Light Monkey trying to put everybody to sleep. Juno, though, gets a counter, cuts and kills the Poseidon. We've got a Ventilate on the Light Monkey from Ganymede. Light Monkey now taking away the Giant Net, or actually using the Giant Net to take away all the attack bars. We're putting more damage into the Diana. Gany rocking the Diana down. It's 3v3, guys, but that Abelio providing a lot of sustain. Gany's gonna go ahead and reset the Wusa, so Abelio's still providing sustain. We've got a stun on the Wusa. Light Monkey taking big artifact damage from the Juno, but gets ventilated, takes away the attack bars, procs into skill two, gets all the stuns. Juno, however, cannot be stunned. She drops the Light Monkey. Gany and Hey Gang are not gonna have enough here, guys, and Cranky gets the win. <laughs> Oh, wow. Am I doing a whole video of this? Uh, guys, here's the deal. If we can get 200 likes on this video, I will do another one of these because it shows me that you guys like it. So if you enjoy the content, please smash that like button. I'll do another one of these. And if we get 
400 likes. Let's say 400 likes on this video. I will take submissions from replays of viewers, and the next one of these I do will be all replays from viewers chosen at random. Okay, next up we've got DD Squirtle, and because I like the name, we're gonna watch DD Squirtle versus Songs. Okay, DD Squirtle opening up with the Woosa, another meta open, getting countered by Chung and uh, Carnell. Brings out the Gany Hathor, who is making a comeback this season, finishing off with Ryu and Vertiheil, but the Hangang Abelio Oki combination by Song is looking kind of dangerous. So we do see a ban of the Heigang. Hathor manages to outspeed and puts the Chung to sleep. The Verd does not get stunned by Oki, gets the counter. Gany getting the reset on the Chung. We've got full immunity up, and it's looking a lot more dangerous now for the Abelio side. Song's in trouble as Oki taking a lot of damage. Wusa looked like she just took nine turns there. I know Wusa's a he, but it looks like a she to me. Oki does get the reset on the Hathor, however, despite the million turns. And now Carnell taking a million turns, but Wusa getting ventilated, puts up the three turn immunity again. Vertiheil still putting damage into that Poseidon. We've got another reset on the Chung. Wusa taking two more turns right there. Bird cycling again. Hathor putting the Chung to sleep. The Oki is down to one turn sleep, but one HP. Oki is off the field, guys. Vertiheil's turn cycling still coming into play, but Carnell finally gets off the S3, landing two stuns and a bunch of slows. Vertiheil's stun there as well, but Hathor proccing out. I think she was a proc out, and then she managed to put everybody to sleep, so that's what Hathor does. Okay, we've got the Gany resetting Carnell right after a proc where he ventilated the Hathor. Hathor putting everybody back to sleep again, and that is it for songs as Gany Hathor proving that seven seasons later, they are still the most OP married couple out there. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't know if they're married, actually, or not, but it seems like they should be, right? I'm just saying. You know what, guys? We're going to do one of mine next up. I do want to mix a few of mine in here as well. Um, I don't know why, except it's, you know, we're on YouTube and we're doing a video, and I think I should look at some of my replays. Oh, here it is. We're going to do the Blippity one, actually. Okay, we've got Blippity currently in G2, probably doing a late season rush up to G3. All right, so we've got XG against Blippity. Blippity opens first pick. Wusa XG countering with the Molong and the Diana. Blippity dropping the Nana. Oki XG bringing out Fang and Alulu to protect from the Oki. Blippity bringing out Oberon and Kaki. Big damage. XG dropping the Chia Triana. We see bands of Nana and Lulu. Now, Blippity's starting with some damage on the Fang. Oki resetting the Diana. Not sure why he didn't reset the uh, Triana there. But he did not. Okay, so the Oberon putting damage into the Molong, but that thick Molong does manage to survive. We put some damage into the Oberon, also get the defense break, allowing Diana to kill with skill one. Nice proc by Diana there, going into the Wusa doing some damage. Diana is running in a fast build right now without high damage, so the Wusa not hurt that much. The Kaki proc does hurt into the Diana a little bit, but we get the defense break on the Kaki. That's going to lower Kaki's damage as well as set him up for the kill. Diana in human form going into the Kaki, manages to miss three of the crits, but gets him killed from the strips into dots. Bang proccing out of the stun right there does put up a little bit of sustain. We get a defense break into the Oki. Oki still wanted to uh, Molong, not quite enough. Clutch proc by the Triana there. Oki having to reset the Molong, and then Oki is dead. It's now Wusa versus Bang, Triana, and Molong. Molong, excuse me, Fang putting up the uh, regenerate and XG takes the win. Guys, I will be honest, I really did not understand why he didn't reset the Triana there. I feel like he made a misplay, um, and that's what gave me the win. I think if he resets the Triana at the start, he's able to just snipe the Fang with the Oberon, and it's pretty much GG. Dios Loco opening up with Ciara flexible, first turn, second turn type pick, getting countered with Chung Carnell, also flexible, turn one, turn two tick. Pick, uh, Dios Loco committing to turn one with the Ryu, Triton, Escher, and Charlotte. Lubu dropping the Beelzebub, a monster that I know really well. With no reset on the field, that Beelzebub's actually a really dangerous counter right here. So, uh, Dio's getting outsped. The Ryu does manage to cut, but doesn't stun anything. That is a despair uh, Ryu. I'm almost positive and not looking good for Dios as everything taken huge damage. Guys, that was some massive damage coming out of Lubu's side. All right, so hero MVP dropping first pick Carnell, another pretty meta pick, and encountered with Ciara Wusa dropping the Chung and Hey Gang, still not fully committed to turn one. Sorry, dropping the Mo Long Yun Hung. Man, that's a combo I want so bad. Get encountered by Chi Wu and Savannah last picks the Leo, which is a force pin. So we have got turn one going to that Yun Hung who boosts up the Mo Long and goes straight into the oh into the Chung. That was a thick Chung, guys. That was 27k damage. But the Wusa did have enough damage to finish it off. Chung is completely sniped. However, Savannah doing her thing now. And guys, that's a lot of AoE damage. Young Hung and Ciara deleted with one proc. 
Carnell now going into double water monsters. Woo's the frocking out for some immunity, but guys, it's not looking good as Hangan gets the strip and hero MVP says thank you to Savannah because Savannah is a hero and is his MVP. Broken Native opening up with Ciara Drac coming back with the Woos and the Carnell. Broken Native committing to turn one with the Ryu Chung. And the oh so devastating Eleanoa along with the Gany. That comp is really difficult, but we do have a Lima on the other side. We had a Lima on the other side until the Despair Stun took her out of commission. We've got a bomb on the Diana, Diana now. We've got a reset into the Eleanoa after the Eleanoa resets everybody. Oh, the Ciara misses the bomb on the Lima. Oh, but Gany managing to cut gets the reset on the Lima. That was the whole match right there, guys, as we get another reset into the Gany. Ciara just rocking turn after turn after turn after turn after turn as she turn ones the Diana to death and D-Rack realizes that he can't keep up with the procs in the turn cycling. Congratulations Broken Native on your Eleanor bro because Eleanor is broken. I think that's where your name came from. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Please remember to smash that like button. Make sure the thumb is blue. Don't smash it a second time and turn it off, but smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn those bell notifications on because I will be bringing out more videos in the near future. Guys, thank you for watching and we will catch you on the next video. Hey, it is any Oh, no, wait, this is the outro, my bad. Hey guys, if you wanna see more content, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications. It's your support that makes me wanna create continuing content. I thank you guys for the support as always, and we'll see you in the next video.